I will be honest, when you first walk in, it's a little intimidating. It's a little intimidating because you can see and you'll say, wow, you know, this is state-of-the-art equipment. You know, everybody's so bright and intelligent and you're just like, wow, this is, this is the majors. Um, but what you find out, again, that it's a very warm family environment type of atmosphere and everybody's willing to help each other out. We do the whole manufacturing process in the facilities from producing caps, bottles, uh, filling them, labeling them, packaging them, and shipping them out. I've been in the bottling industry since 95. Uh, some colleagues of mine had told me about Niagara and how well developed this company was and eventually brought me over. Basically when you come in, if you're a brand new type of operator, even if you have some experience, um, we want to let you know that you know every plant has different type of equipment so we want you to come in and really digest what we do here. Once you learn you know, our equipment and you have that desire to grow. Um, for example, we have quite a few of our operators who came in and felt they had a little bit more of a mechanical background than just being an operator. So once they mastered their equipment as an operator, we slowly gradually gave them an opportunity to work on our PM teams. And from there, they had opportunity to actually when openings became available to transition from a machine operator to a PM mechanic. So yeah, we do definitely see advancement if someone wants to, to grow. You have the opportunity, you can shine as bright as you want to shine. Niagara Bottling promotes growth from within. So when we hire team members and uh, they, we see potential in them, if they develop their skills and abilities, they have the opportunities to go anywhere from machine operator up to production supervisor. When I first came in with the company, I started off as just an inventory associate. From there, I was learning the company, taught through how the production needs were met here at Niagara, the materials that are used here at Niagara, what it takes to take care of the raw materials here to implement the needs that Niagara needs to fulfill for their customers. Niagara's equipment is much more high-tech and automated. They have preventative maintenance to keep the uh, equipment up to date. Even though it was high-tech, it was not hard to learn the equipment. If you just focus on what you're doing, you're going to be fast. Well, here at Niagara, the most important factor is safety. Safety first, of course, is the mentality on everyone's mind. We try to work as efficiently as possible, but with safety in mind. It's a positive atmosphere. It's a family-type environment. They have picnics, Christmas parties, events. Sometimes we have open house. You could show your family what you do, what's the process of making the bottle, and especially the kids, because they don't know what we do here. So whenever you get to bring your kids, you get to show them, you know, like this is the blower, this is this, and this is the process, what we go through, make just a bottle of water. We have such a diverse workforce. Um, we have all different types of cultures and all different types of people with all different types of skill sets. If you're the type of person that wants to do the same mundane thing every day, then this probably is not the place for you. We need people who are willing to uh, exert themselves and move forward and be progressive and, and look towards moving in the right direction and, is, and be flexible at the same time. So if you like the flexibility, you like uh, you know, uh, thinking outside of the box and, and following a, a program where we're all trying to be successful, then this is the place for you. There's a lot of opportunity for growth. We're growing through three new plants every single year since I've been here. You are held accountable. You know, they want sharp, um, dedicated people, hardworking people, um, quick to adapt, um, think on your feet, you know, that type of thing. But um, the support base is there. So um, you definitely have to bring your A game. And if you bring your A game, that support will be there and you will find out you can reach levels that you didn't know you could reach.